morning everybody afternoon evening whatever time it might be so today we're starting an 800 foot road uh, it'll be 20 foot wide it'll be all limestone base fabric so right now we're getting a late start on video but we've got a uh, crossovers put in for the laterals for water and some electric and um telephone and cable and things of that nature so that's the state we're in right now it is a beautifully cold day out here jake and cody up here back filling a lateral for a water line just put in two inch uh, schedule 40 uh, all based in with grits and then this will be a road on top of this uh, they can just push the water line through later probably a one inch service the challenge is Like I said, there'll be like five or six houses on this property. It's about 20 acres or so here. Nice hardwoods, cornfields. Uh, first house we built be right over in here. This is ditch line. Of course, we're waiting on uh, some four inch schedule 40 uh, so we can run the all the services for the electric, cable, television. Uh, that's about it. Oh boy, howdy. Look what showed up here today. a shot looking from the road this will be 850 feet like i think i said uh, we got a water service pipe in we got a five five four inch conduits for electric phone cable uh, and so on and there's a two inch line in there for the be street lights here
it's a three by three catch basin. That's three by three inside. It'll get a 24 inch uh, double wall pipe inside. And this will be under the driveway. There's a little creek channel here. Drainage, as you can see, is kind of goes right underneath the bucket. It's about three feet, three and a half feet deep. Uh, so go under the driveway. Jake is to my left right now, I'm cutting out the basin so we can knock the end out. And we'll put our pipe in and mortar it back in. Right there. These are little Milwaukee 18 inch uh, or 18 volt 9 inch saw, cut off saw. It works really well. We uh, There's a lot of retaining wall jobs we do and that gets us through the whole job. Got to use several batteries. They're 12 amp batteries, uh, but it works nice and light, super nice and light. We also have the MX saw. Uh, it's a 14 inch battery Milwaukee saw. Uh, it it works pretty darn good too. It is a little heavy, but it sure beats full starting it every time over the typical like steel core DS420 that we run. One shot, Jake, look at that. One hit and he got it. Go ahead, Jake. Do your thing, get her out of there. However you want to do it. Ta-da. What a fine job.
up finally between rainstorms snowstorms all kinds of stuff the final product here is the equivalent of 411 limestone it's actually slag also just finishing rolling it in friend Dave has got his roller that he resurrected from a buddy's farm rolling it in a little 8,000 pound roller quick walk back here as you can still see it's nice and soupy wet there's spots here where we had to pull out dig down you know a foot or two more and base it back in with twos just because the the ground is garbage in some of these spots you can see our lateral crossovers so that is the water line here and then this is the utility one the one we started with first hole couple couple trees and things we cleared <clears throat> nice rock there's the catch base we installed you can see we got the road up about 16 to 18 inches above it there's the outlet of the culvert so there's 60 feet of 24 inch pipe in there nice pile of logs that we got for them there's your stumps that haven't burned up but they will got another lateral crossover there going across to here and then the final one back in this corner run across 60 feet to a hub that was there nice little cul-de-sac leading back out to the street walking back out to the front here we're gonna get loaded up see Dave's rolling it in little resurrected resurrected oyster thanks for watching have a good day